Good morning, Boker Toad. How are you? Yep, it's Tuesday. That means it must be Torah Tuesday. Cool, huh? Well, I'm pretty much back in the office from the big, the big boom, so to speak. Me and my encounter with the tree there. This week, this week's Parsha is very interesting. Jacob's going to die. Joseph's going to die. A lot of people are going to get blessings. A bunch of cool stuff is going on. As you remember, there, um, Joseph, of course, is in Egypt. He's a big prince. He's a big shot. He invites the family over. Jacob and everybody comes over. Now, Jacob is dying. Okay? So Jacob wants Joseph to bring his two sons, Jacob's grandsons, so he can bless them. Okay? Now, what's interesting about this is when Jacob can't see very well. Tell me if you sound, if this sounds familiar. Have we heard this before? Jacob can't see so well, so he takes his left hand and puts it on Ephraim's um, head, and he takes his right hand and he puts it on Manasseh's head, and he starts to bless him. Well, Ephraim is the older which means the right hand should be on his head because the older gets the bigger blessing and the left hand gets the um, smaller blessing. Does this sound familiar yet? So Joseph sees what's going to go on and he goes to his father and says, wait, 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 you got the hands on the wrong kit. And Jacob says, no, 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 I don't. I know what I'm doing. He purposely wants to do this. Well, where have we heard this before? How about when Jacob fooled his father Isaac and Esau lost his birthright? Okay, we're retelling the story again. Okay, um, so I wanted to bring that up. The other thing I wanted to bring up is that when um, Jacob is giving his blessing, he puts it, he tells um, Joseph to put his hand under the under his thigh that keeps coming up when Jacob wants to when he becomes Israel he tells the angel of the Lord that he has to um, the sinew of the sigh he has to take his hand in the sinew of the sigh thigh so what's happening here and it happens on a couple of other occasions yeah he's basically you're sitting on the person's hand now, it depends on the translation. Some people have tried to say that testify comes directly from this. Now, if you follow me, you know where this is going. Testify comes from the word. Some people say testicles. Get it? Hand under the thigh, testicles. I'm not buying into the testicle part, but it used to be that a sign of trust or a sign of allegiance you would put your hand underneath the person's thigh. They would sit down. You couldn't move anywhere. You're like a captive audience. And it showed trust and it showed it showed trust. And that's when you were given a blessing. Holding the testicle part, I'm not really too cool on. And actually, I find more in my research to rebuke, rebuke that than to show positively. It's a nice wives tale, but I don't think it happened. Okay. So we got that. Now, um, Jacob wants to be married in the land, uh, married, buried. Jacob wants to be buried in the land of Canaan. Joseph agrees, and he makes it happen. And then Joseph dies. End of the book of Genesis. Next week, we're starting Exodus. So this is how the first book of Torah ends, is Genesis ends with both Jacob and Joseph dying, and we meet the 12 tribes. Everybody gets, all the tribes are um, des designated, and that's how we end Genesis. And next week, we will go into the Exodus story, which, of course, is tells us why we are who we are, why we are the children of Israel. And we'll hear about Moses, and we'll find out what's going on with that. Okay? So that's what I wanted you to know today. So if you would, 
comment, like, email, carrier pigeons, um, whatever. And that's my story. And I will see you next week on Tuesday, Tour Tuesday. Hey, peace out. <sighs> okay. Oh no, we're still on.